have to have Kevin bring it up closer to the camera. It's a horseshoe, but it's got a horse carved into it. Pretty cool, huh? Groovy man. Groovy mom. So, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Yay. Uh-oh, what's the matter? Did you lose your pillow? Yeah, I did. Okay. Because I was uh, suddenly way back here. Okay. And Tanya, this is for you. Okay, our first shout out goes to Andy and Tay. They're an awesome couple. You guys need to go by and check out their channel. Taylor also has her own cha channel. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, but um, I'm sure there's a link to it on their regular channel. They have the cutest little girl. Her name is Lily, and she's just starting to walk, and she babbles. I really, really would love to get inside her head and know what that babbling, what she's trying to say during her babbling. Because she just babbles. And it's so interesting. So, Andy and Tay, go check them out. Thumbs up to you guys. And Gina Polinchek. Your name sounds familiar, but you guys know me. If I'm not sure, welcome to the neighborhood. Chris Howard, welcome to the neighborhood. And Mark Lunsford, your name also sounds familiar, but not sure. Welcome to the neighborhood. My question yesterday is, what do you procrastinate over? Was that it? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Angie Lupus Lives, Carnet, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life procrastinates over laundry because she has too many clothes to get through before having to do the laundry. Yeah. Melody Mainville. She procrastinates over cleaning. I'm OCD and I would not procrastinate over cleaning, but right now I can't clean and it's driving me insane. Terry Johnson. Getting rid of clothes that don't fit. Yeah, I procrastinate over doing that too, but right now it might be a good thing that I procrastinated over it because once I have my surgery, those clothes might fit me again at some point. So, I'm a good, it's, it's probably a good thing. Jessica CT procrastinates over cleaning except when she's on vaca vacation, then she's a productive weirdo. Jessica, when you're on vacation, come on over. Um, Bambi S, she procrastinates going to the store because she hates spending money, but you need groceries, so you gotta do it. <laughs> Proudest Mama 77, packing away winter clothes and unpacking summer clothes. I used to hate doing that living back east, but you know, I never have enough clothes to where I had to swap them out, so I just moved things in my closet. So, but right now, she's also procrastinating over, over having her son's 16th birthday party because she doesn't want her kids to grow up. And I can relate to that. Megan's 21, and this spring, she's leaving fall. This fall. This fall, she's leaving the house to go away to college, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Destiny Swan. Procrastinates over cleaning. A lot of people procrastinate over cleaning. And she used to procrastinate over writing papers in her college days, but she said they were usually great papers because she would write better under pressure. Megan's like that too. You said you used to be like that. Yep. Yeah. So that's all I have. And my question for today, I don't need this, um, is. Have you had any premonitions or dreams that have actually come true? Explain. It is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Yeah, well, finally. I think, no, I don't think anybody ever saw the movie that I did, talked about yesterday. I did. 
Terrorvision, 1986. It was a comedy horror film. And uh, it was low budget, very, very low budget. And so they had the, the uh, planet skate that was supposed to be Pluton. And the, a lot of the articles says Pluto, but it's Pluton. Uh, they just had a whole bunch of little models, and one of them was the USS Enterprise, the spaceship from Star Trek, with the engines taken off, turned upside down, and glued to the surface. That was the building that they were supposed to be. Now, now that's pretty low budget. Okay, and the ones who got that right were Bam BS and Terry Johnson. Woohoo! Tonight's um, trivia is about the movie Aliens. The sequel, the second one, the, not Alien, but Aliens. And um, 1986. What, yes, this is a simple one. What was used for the alien screech, the noise they made? Me? Ah! <laughs> okay. Anyway, there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. I hope all you guys uh, have a wonderful night. <laughs> <laughs> Got lost. Started, you, <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very much. We thank you. Thumbs up. And we, make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff by the way. And we will see you all tomorrow.